Hi everyone. So week one of what I guess Pat and I are calling the rebuild has finished and it was 10 days in the cast and today was a big day because I got my cast off so that was super exciting. It was it was getting kind of difficult I think actually more so for Patrick than, than myself. I couldn't do simple things such as getting myself a glass of water and that was kind of getting a little bit frustrating being on the crutches and not being able to to do anything. Um, I'm really excited to be able to take a shower without having a bag on it um, and, and a lot of things I think are really exciting moving forward. Um, you know I think this past week has been I thought it was gonna be harder than it was mentally. Um, for me, I've been able to do quite a lot of exercises. I thought that there wouldn't be much for me to do. I've been able to get quite a bit in, um, just at home. I've also gone to the gym a few times and been able to do a few things there. But a lot of things from my glute exercise video, the glute activation video, I can still do. So, um, you know, I like to use my band and I put it around and I do um, clamshells. And there's another glute exercise and reverse clamshells. But there's another glute exercise that I like to do that wasn't in my glute activation um, video. And I can also do that one while injured. You can do it with um, bent leg or straight leg. Um, I can't do straight leg because it puts too much pressure on my foot. So I'm putting all my pressure on my bottom leg. And what I do is I get in a side plank position with my, I'm gonna go up on my knees. I make sure my body is in line, so I put my arm down and my fingers should be pointing at my toes so everything's in one line. And I have a long torso, so I have to make sure that this is very curved right now and I have to straighten it out. After it's straightened out, I make sure I'm still in line. I lift up by pushing into the ground and activating my glute, and now I'm in a side plank on my knee. Um, and then you can bring this top leg back and up and hold, and that will really activate your glute as well as you can bring your leg up and down. And for more of a challenge, you can do this with your leg straight. Obviously not if you have a boot on though. I'm gonna switch sides. I normally do about 10 on each side. Gonna get in alignment, straighten out my side, come up by pushing down, activating that glute. And your bottom glute should be working as well. Um, when you push down that bottom, glute activates and then your top glute activates when you're raising and moving the leg. During this rebuild, I'm having my PT, Jessica Dorrington, work with me. She's working along with my surgeon and they're talking back and forth and seeing how we can progress. So today was all about once I got my calf, cast off, we worked on um, just some, what would you call it, flexibility pat, like moving range of motion. Range of motion. Thank you. We worked on range of, range of motion um, today, and then in two days, we'll start progressing a little bit more with some weight-bearing things. So just as somebody that I started using um, as a PT when I, after I gave birth with some pelvic floor stuff, and, and she's somebody that I really trust and believe in, so I'm really excited to, to go along this rebuild with her. I've gotten a lot of questions about, you know, how does this form? How does the Hagelin start? And also like, what are the, some of the things that you can do to prevent it? And I think, first of all, you can never totally prevent injury. You can do things to, to mitigate it. Um, and for me, this, I think the, the Hagelin's is something that sometimes you don't know what it comes from. Sometimes it's something you're born with. Sometimes it's triggered by trauma or overuse or the way your shoes are rubbing against it. A lot of times it's actually called the um, pump bump because it comes from wearing high heels a lot, which I don't do. But um, yeah, you know, I, this is something for me, it, it actually started when I was pregnant and I know that a lot of things changed in my feet when I was pregnant. Um, you know, my feet went up in size. So for a long time I was actually wearing shoes that were too small because I didn't realize that my feet had um, changed and they kind of collapsed a little bit and they're actually all back, my feet are back to normal now, but um, that's when it all started. And for me, I was able to get through all my training um, and 
I was able to do things um, to keep my training going, not miss any sessions. But then after Chicago, it just had a huge flare um, and I was never able to, to really recover from that. Some of the things you can try um, before having surgery, because I think surgery is something you wanna always use as a re last resort. Um, a lot of times there can be complications with surgery and it's just something that you don't wanna jump into. So things that I did that, that really helped were uh, wearing shoes around the house, you can wear heel lifts, you can um, try shoes with a, with a softer back, like there's the Vaporflies, um, I was wearing Elites a lot because those had a softer back as well. And as well, keeping um, my peroneals and my soleus loose really helped and keeping the feet loose and the calf calves loose, that really helped as well because a lot of times um, the if the tendon is being pulled too much, um, it can then pull on the Achilles um, and the bursa and, and rub against that heel bone. So if you keep everything around the Achilles loose, that can help. You can do that through massage, rolling, scraping, um, PT I did a lot of, um, but to keep the calf loose, you can also do dry needling, um, yeah. And then I also did PT, so there's some exercises you can do. So if you ever have an issue with calves um, or your tendons, uh, your Achilles tendon, you can do either a centric hold. So you can go up on your toes and just hold for 30 seconds. You can do that straight legged and then with bent knees. And then you can also do eccentric calf raises, both straight leg and bent knee. So some, those are some of the things you can try if you are having um, those issues. Pat, hey. how was week one of the rebuild for you? Got to be a little long in the tooth, I thought. Yeah? I had to do a lot of just walking around. I mean, it was my pleasure. <laughs> I, I love being a part of the team, but getting waters and walking forks and plates over <laughs> i'm ready to move on from that yeah and so, and what was most surprising to you when we took the cast off you know i wasn't anticipating the bruising obviously that makes a lot of sense but i wasn't i wasn't thinking about that in my head yeah but um i thought i'd be able to smell your foot and could you i could not i did not smell your foot well that's a good thing yeah so um yeah, I don't know. So I just want to say thank you um, for all of you who have reached out and for the support. As an athlete, you know, I I think after Chicago, I kept telling myself I can't get surgery because I can't take the time off. And I, you know, really was trying to, to force the running. And for me, I realized what was best to was to have the surgery and to, um, you know, hopefully be pain free. And I've had so many encouraging messages of people who either had surgery or didn't have surgery and they've had Haglins and they've um, recovered from it and they've been back 100%, which has been pretty exciting. And a couple people as well who are going through this journey right now with me. So um, I think that's pretty exciting. That's all I've really got for you guys for this week. Um, I've been doing a lot of strength work in the gym and this week we're gonna progress a little bit to uh, hopefully getting on the bike and, and just getting a little bit of cardio in because I've only been doing strength stuff. Um, I'll just leave you with one thing I guess that was a little bit of a positive for me in this is that because I was walking around on crutches all the time, I realized I needed to wear jackets and shirts with pockets. So I just found all these awesome things in my wardrobe that I didn't even know I had. So pretty exciting and pockets are amazing.